um, within the fourth chapter, sorry, within the fifth chapter, it says, they come from a far country, even the end of heaven, right? Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. So when the Lord unleashes and allows this destruction to take place, this destruction is going to be taking place mainly in America, okay? Which is the, which is Babylon, all right? Edom is, is classed as the door of Babylon, but if they, you know, you know, the Babylonians themselves, they would have had people that was outside of Babylon that was known as Babylonians, but it was a, a place that was known as Babylon. The same thing with America. There's a place, there's people that you see walking around that are known as Edomites, but the scripture talks about how that the Lord was going to come from Bozrah. Okay, with thy garments from Bozrah, as if he, he had pressed, he had been walking that 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 that, uh, that, that, that press, okay? Working that, that, that press so you can understand. So here it says there, um, in the fifth verse, it says they come from a far country, even the end of heaven, right? Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, all right? To, uh, to, to destroy the whole land. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So when the Lord unleashes his, his fury upon here, it's going to come as a destruction from the Almighty, man. All right, this is going to be one of the, the most epic, not one of the most, it's going to be the most epic thing that's ever been witness within the earth okay the scripture talks about how the smoke of america burning was going to be seen forever and ever and ever man okay and when we're talking about the smoke of america burning we're talking about the, the, the epicenter of esau's power and dominance over the earth right when people talk about esau now they don't talk about britain they don't talk about i mean they might do but really when they're talking about esau they're talking about the, you know germany and they're talking about america with america having the superiority over germany man all right, that's why when you had it to where, you know, anything happens within the world, all right, by way of the EU, right, who's going to sign it off? Who signs that particular event off? It gets signed off, all right, by America, okay? But like I said before, you've got particular frictions between Esau's power, all right, where with the scripture says that what? That, that, that it was going to be within its, you know, the, 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 the strength as if it was stone and, you know, it's going to mix with the, you know, with the, with the, with the iron, or, okay, with the clay. Right, meaning to say they wasn't going to be conjoined, man. They wasn't going to be joined together. They wasn't going to be on the same page about every single damn thing. Right, and the most I said it up that way, okay? Let's continue here. It says, um, uh, How are you for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty? Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, all right? And that's the, that's the, that's the terrible thing that's going to happen to where people are going to be seeing the destruction. And they're just gonna melt, man. They're gonna have heart attacks, man. Okay, think about it. Here it is. You've lived in a in a, in the so-called uh, luxury. Okay, you've lived in this um, moderate peace. Okay, I say moderate peace. And then all, all of a sudden, everything's gonna be turned on its head. Okay, all of a sudden, the heavenly Father is gonna say, okay, that's enough. Enough of the time of peace. Okay, or enough of the time of when they was gonna be speaking about peace and safety. Now it's time for the sudden destruction. That's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. And you're gonna have people that's gonna have heart attacks. Okay, their, their minds gonna fail them because what's gonna come upon the earth, they weren't expecting it. See, if you live out there within Syria or some war-torn or third world impoverished country, you're used to the what you're used to being impoverished. Okay, you're used to uh, 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 sleeping in the bathtub. All right, during the time of World War II, a lot of people in Britain they were sleeping in their bathtub. Okay, or sleeping underneath the table. All right, or, or running underneath the table when they held when they heard themselves. Okay, dropping. All right, outside. All right, but that's coming. That's coming back in a, in a major way, man. Okay, but because the scripture talks about how the laws destruction is going to come and it's going to come. All right, suddenly when he was going to be speaking about peace and safety, that's when the heavenly father was going to un unleash the wapples out, man. All right. So that's what's coming to the earth. Continuing here within the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, on the 7th verse, it says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And um, they shall be afraid, the pangs of sorrow shall take hold of them, right? They shall be in pain as a woman in travail. And that's about even the guys that are out there within the army, man. There was a particular scene, I forget what movie it was in, or what TV program it was in, but there was a particular scene where uh, the cops came in to, um, you know, to a, a, a place where they was looting, all right? They was looting a particular area and the cops uh, uh, came into there and the people was expecting the cops to, 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 to stop them from looting. But the dude had to go out there and loot for himself because he got to fend for himself. And that's how it's going to be even, a, even, even in, you know, you're going you're gonna to have to have a strong mind, okay? So, you know, you're going you're gonna to have to have a strong mind. Excuse me, I'll just put a light on.
Okay, yeah. So, so you're gonna have to have a strong mind within that day, man. Okay, when the uh, prophets had seen it, okay, the, the man Ezra, when he saw it, he said, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who was gonna deliver me in that particular time of trouble?" And that's what it's gonna be out like out here, man. It's gonna be hell on hot wheels, all right, as the saying goes. Okay. So continuing here within the book of Isaiah, the thirteenth chapter, it says, "Behold, behold, the day of the Lord cometh, both cruel and with wrath." and fierce anger. Why is the Lord going to be ang angry for? Because the scripture talks about how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So they, they, they got the power of the earth. Esau got the power of the earth and get the power of the earth. What did they do with that particular power? They added to where uh, evils and wickedness was multiplied within the earth. You can read about that within the book of um, uh, um, uh, Maccabees, the first chapter, around about the seventh verse on down. How that when Alexander reigned, right? When he, you know, when he, when when they really began to set up their their dynasties and and set up their different uh, 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 places within the earth, when that had happened, the scripture talks about how that wickedness multiplied within the earth, man. All right, it didn't say how that they, you know, they 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 transformed the earth into a more righteous place, a more peaceable place to live. Really, the scripture talks about how the Mosai gave him the power of the sword, and with that sword, he was going to destroy the people on the earth. He was going to allow people to be destroyed within the earth. That's within uh, the book of Revelations. I believe it's a Revelation 6 and 4. Okay? So, continuing here, it says that what? It says, uh, Cruel with wrath and with fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall be destroyed with the sinner thereof out of it. So, when the Lord, you know, the main thing that the Lord's doing out here is. is well, really, that the only thing he's doing out here, okay, is is is, is, is you know he's clearing the path for the righteous, okay, the elect so that they can be uh, uh, saved, all right. That's why you got the prophets out here pushing the word. And additionally, he's setting it up to where uh, the the wicked are gonna be destroyed, all right. That's that's what's being set up out here. That's what you're that's why you're seeing this coronavirus going out there. That's why you're seeing the world's war three uh, going out there. That's why you're seeing the famines being set up there. A lot of people don't realize that this corona, okay, is gonna set up. A, a, a lot of situations where famines and troubles is going to be within the earth right so it says there for the stars and the constellation thereof shall not give their light and the sun shall be darkened and is going forth because of the nuclear fire again why are we reading this because we're reading about the heritage of Esau being laid waste okay not them are continuing and on and on and on forever but rather them having a stop okay a stopping point right a, pre a period within the within time where they can't go past or beyond. It says here, I punish the world for their wickedness and the, and, the, uh, and the wicked for their iniquity, and I and I cause and I'll cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And that's that's one of the main reasons that the Most High is gonna destroy this place because you got this thing of pride out here, man. You know what pride I'm talking about, okay? But the scripture talks about how that pride goes forth before destruction. That's why these people are in a haughty spirit, man. That's why these people are in a state of uh, self upliftment, okay? They're in a state of uh, 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 boasting of themselves. <laughs> they're, in the, they're not in the state of boasting of your heart, Okay? How many people you know about? Uh, how you? How many people you know out here that boast in the name your heart, Okay? How did the Lord? Okay, deliver them from a particular situation. How did the Most High kept them fed and kept a, a roof over their head? There's not too many people that speak about that. Save the men of the Lord. But what you're gonna hear about is how that people you know they they, they help themselves. So I did this for myself, and I did that for myself. Okay, but guess what? It's, it's, it's the Lord's power that did all of that, man. Okay, so go, continuing here, it says, um, um, right, 11th verse, it says, I will punish the world for their iniquity and the wicked, I'm sorry, I'll punish the world for their evil, right? Of which these people have done evil on the side of your heart, especially the outside, especially the Negro, Hispanic, Native American, man. You've done wickedness in the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, you've, you've gone afar from, uh, um, You've departed from the heritage that Yahweh Shimei Shai gave you. Here it is, we're reading about the heritage that Esau has and how that was going to wash away pretty much, all right? And that's also a quote from the book of Job, the 20th chapter, how the, the things that they have acquired was going to wash away. Okay, that's what we're reading about. But what about the heritage of Jacob? What, what, they, what did they do with that heritage? Where they went off on the Lord's statue commandments of the Heavenly Father and chose not to keep to the covenant that the Heavenly Father made with, their, with our forefathers, man, which we are our forefathers coming back. Right, we chose not to follow in, within that particular covenant, man. So, what did the Most High do? The Most High destroyed the Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans from the inside out. Okay, that's why our children are degenerates. Okay, the, 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 the men are out there on the streets. Okay, and you got it to where what the, the, the whole thing is completely destroyed, man. 
Okay? You go to Twitter, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the, the, the Israelite community is non-existent, man. I believe there was this one particular joke that Bernie Mac had pushed out there, and it's out there on um it's out there on YouTube and Bernie Mac is the guy. Okay, he's one of the best he's he, to me he's the best comedian that's ever walked on the earth, okay? But the more side took his ass out, alright, maybe because he sold out. Going, going back onto the thing I was speaking about, how Jake is wicked, right? But he had made a particular joke, and the joke was um, how that three men went up to, 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 to the Mosai and um, and they had to answer or they had to ask the Mosai a particular question. And if the Mosai could not answer that particular question, okay, then uh, 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 um, they'll, they'll basically they'll make it, okay? They'll, they'll get salvation, okay? So they're asking the Mosai a question that the Mosai cannot answer and they was going to get the salvation as a result. So guess what the question was that, uh, that, got, that had got Bernie Mac in? He had asked the Mosai, when, when are Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans going to come together? Well, he said Negroes, okay, when are black people going to come together? But we know that it's the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that make up the collective that is the children of Israel. And all of our children scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? We are a collective scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We're not just one group of people over here, another group of people over here. We're a nation of people, okay, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But predominantly, we was going to be identified as the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay, the Israelites that are scattered out there within West Africa, okay? That's how you, we was going to be commonly identified, okay? Right, the, the people out there within the islands of, uh, of, 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 um, of the Caribbean, okay? Those are the children of Israel, all right? Uh, but we also got children that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? So continuing with the, with the point I was making is, what about the heritage of the children of Israel? Well, they, when we went off on following the Lord's Statue Commandments of the Mosai, but here it is, is because it is a covenant, the Mosai kept up to his, you know, part of the deal, so you can understand, and his part of the deal was what? His part of the deal was that he wasn't going to distill the part from us. That's why he sent the Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, to give us a, a way back into the second covenant. That's where the book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter, the eighth verse comes into it. So you got people out here talking about they're Christians, okay, they're born into the, the, the new covenant, the new covenant. But when we read about the new covenant, which is really going back onto the Old Testament, a lot of people don't know that, okay? The old the new covenant goes back onto the Old Testament and it speaks about within it speaks about it within the book of Ezekiel. Alright, and it speaks about how the Mosai was going to give the children of Israel a new heart and a new mind, and this time... No way, man! No way, man! And this time the Mosai was going to make it to where the Israelites was going to be perfect, okay? It wasn't going to be, there wasn't going to be, any, you know, there wasn't going to be uh, uh, going off, okay? They wasn't going to be seduced by the gods of the heathen, they wasn't going to be enticed into uh, 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 worshipping, okay, Dagon and worshipping Ishtar. They was going to be perfect, okay? They, you know, brother wasn't going to kill brother, man, okay? They wasn't going to be, uh, 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 no, there wasn't going to be no misfits within the, within the, within the amidst the Israelites. They were, we were just going to be perfect, okay? And that's what the new covenant was all about. But right now we're focusing on the heritage of Esau, the Idumean. And more specifically, the new world order that they're trying to set up. And as we can read from the scriptures, that they're not, not going to be able to set up, okay? Let's continue here within the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. So it says, I'll make a, um, I'll cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And how the most are going to cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease? When you go to where you got food shortages, okay? When you go to where you got water shortages, okay? Uh, 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 um, uh, um, bad san uh, sanitation, right? Because remember, there's a situation that you have right, right now within the earth. You have a, a system within the earth where uh, sanitation, okay, or, 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 or water can be cleaned up, okay? You go to where you go home, you take a, a dump within your toilet and you flush it away and you never have to think about that dump ever again, man. Then you go right after from taking the dump, you go out there to your running water within your kitchen or, or wherever and you run the water. That's what you know as the sanitary system, okay? A system whereby which the water that you're using within your household, okay, gets cleaned out, all right? You really think in the time of martial law or in the time of a World War Three type situation that's going to be playing out? That's not going to be playing out, man. And how much diseases are you going to have as a result of that? You got to where the bin man come every week, man. I remember there was a particular situation when I was growing up. They had it to where the bin man didn't come for like two days. Not two days, sorry, two weeks. That was like chaos. But guess what? In a time of, 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 of a riot and martial law and Esau's kingdom going down, you got a situation where these systems are going to start falling apart. And as they fall apart, 
the, you know, the, 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 the plagues, okay, that's going to come out as a result of that is going to increase, okay, then, mate? You're yeah, famous, yeah, yeah, you're famous plague. now. Is that that V19 that's a plague. That's a, a COVID-19. Yeah, is that that's what you're doing? No, 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 I'm just reading the Bible. Oh, but, right, but right, that's, right. That's, that's a part of the Bible. That's Am I famous? Am I on YouTube You're now? on YouTube now. Am I? Yeah, oh, you're wow, on YouTube yeah, celebrity yeah. now. Am I? Yeah. You're oh, going right. to be up there. People are going to be asking, Hello. who's that guy that sold up on Saturday? I was like, you know, I didn't know. You're all right, man. You take care, yeah. You have a good evening, yeah? Good, good. Uh, so continuing on what I was saying a second ago, uh, pretty much you got a situation where when all of these systems uh, start falling apart, what's going to happen, man? The escalation of that destruction is going to start going up exponentially, okay? The judgments that are being pushed out there is going to go up exponentially. Because here it is, the first judgment might be the World's War Three. okay? The boom, that's unleashed, okay? People die, okay? But what's going to be what's going to be the second, you know, the, 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 the subsequent uh, uh, result of that? San sanitation, okay, dead bodies within the street, okay, uh, uh, plagues running rampant, okay? Climate change, climate change. Okay, man. they're okay. looking, they're looking at, uh, they're looking at, at the, um, what I call them now? The bears. Oh, the, the bears. Plastic. With the and they're looking at the just coming through the beds. Right, 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 right. right. In ice, Icelandic country. Right. And we do not, as God's creation, we do not, and who give God's creation, right, right, okay. God's creation give us. God creation give us. Okay, my okay. We did not. Okay, my We did okay. not. Okay, okay, we okay, did okay. not. God creation give us. Okay, man. We Thank come you. through the water. Right. Okay. And who give the water? What was the water before we created it? Okay, man. Okay, and we created it. All right. All right. Okay. We created okay. it. Okay. 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 And who was? Who was? Who was? All right, man. Who okay. was? Okay, man. And give me all this. And give me all this. Okay, man. And I'll give to, me all this. I have to shut the whole thing down, yeah? yeah. Right, continuing. Uh, so this is the 14th verse, so... Oh, he's God back. create water. Oh, Jesus. I know get water. God create water. I know was water. God create water. I know created water. Let's give it a second. Get going again. Barely make out what the motherfucker was saying. There's quite a few that are hot. Okay, let's go. Right, so uh, back within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Uh, this is, uh, sorry, 13th chapter. So we are now at the, thir the 11th verse, okay? So it says there, um, I punish the world for their uh, evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I cause the arrogance here, the proud to see, and I lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So who's, who's the haughty people within the earth? Okay, we know that to be Esau, because their enterprise, pretty much that they're trying to push forth is a proud enterprise, okay? They're trying to set this thing up of uh, World War Three. Okay, they're trying to set this thing up of a World War Three, uh, a World War Three, not only a World War Three, but a so-called New World Order. But they're not going to be able to uh, 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 be able to achieve that particular uh, uh, agenda that they're trying to uh, set up, man. Okay, because the more sides set it up to it, that's that's just that's not what's going to happen. Right? They're going to try to, but they're going to fail in doing so. And as we're reading from the scriptures here, the more side was going to lay his mountains and his heritage waste. See, here it is, they try to, la to live forever, okay, and I suppose that's the essence of what we're reading these particular scriptures for. They try to live forever, but the Messiah said, no, you know, not only are you not going to uh, live forever, okay, but I'm going to wipe you off the face of the earth. Everything else is going to be within the kingdom, all right? A cockroach, okay, a worm in the ground, all right, uh, a caterpillar was going to be in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Elam was going to be in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Ishmael, all right, Moab. And all the different nations out there, and then Ham, all of the nations was going to be there. But after a period of a thousand years, the scripture speaks about how the, um, the whole nation of Edom, 
came to Sweden and put Mobile Dyer, alright, was going to be uh, completely wiped off the face of the earth. They were going to be uh, uh, made to be non existent, man. Okay, the, it was going to be the Mosai was going to sanction an event where the Edomites was going to be taken from the earth. Now, think about that. The Mosai was going to uh, sanction genocide. That's how, the, that's how much the Mosai uh, has created this nation to be hated. Okay? Uh, continue here within the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. So it says here, uh, now this is the 12th verse, and it goes into another uh, another, another type of a, 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 a topic, right? So if you've got a situation where World War Three is playing out, okay? If you've got a situation where uh, um, missiles are going out there in the skies, you've got a situation where... Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, food is, 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 is scarce, okay? Shelter is scarce, okay? Uh, uh, safety is scarce, scarce, right? Then the natural gravity, okay, or rather more, what people are going to gravitate to naturally within that particular event is positions of power and stability, okay? Positions of stability, rather, would be a better statement, okay? So what's going to be the position of stability? Well, it's going to be one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side, all right? The position on the left hand side that was going to be for their stability was going to be lies. <laughs> was going to be the chip, right? So they was going to get the chip and they was going to be able to get food and all of these different things. And that's how they was going to be able to sustain themselves. But the scripture says that all the people that was going to take the chip was going to be destroyed, okay? Now what's going to be the position on the right hand side? Well, the left hand side was they was going to get a mark that was the mark of the beast. But on the right hand side, they was going to get the mark 